it going on YouTube and welcome to another video of Paggy Kicks. This is Seabeer and today for you guys I have another sneaker review and the sneaker that I'll be going over today for you guys is going to be the Air Jordan Retro 1 Royal Toe. And before we get into the review on the sneaker, please make sure to hit that like button as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you guys see videos when I do post more about sneakers, Supreme, etc. And with that being said, let's get right into the review. So quickly going over the box, the Air Jordan 1 Royal so has your standard Nike Air Jordan 1 box. Uh, nothing too crazy, you have your big gigantic red Nike logo. And on the sizing tag here, you see it's a size 11, which is my size. So this is a personal pair for me. And the sizing tag reads black, black, white, game royal. And again, nothing too crazy here, just a typical Jordan 1 box. Into the shoe itself, as you guys can see, we have our typical Air Jordan Retro 1. You know, nothing too crazy. It's the usual stuff as you guys expect from a Jordan 1. I did go after this because it's not that often that Jordan makes a black and blue or black and royal colorway. And usually when they do make it, it's a clean option and it's just something nice to have. Just something different from the typical like white, red, and black Air Jordans that you guys might see often. So it's really nice to have something like this here. And you guys can tell these did sell out last week when they did release because I guess it was just a color that people wanted and people have money to spend. So they definitely went after their sneaker. But getting to the details of the shoe, to start it off on the, on the side of the shoe, we have a black Nike swoosh that's comprised of our black leather. We have a black leather all throughout here as well. White leather over here, white midsole. And I have a little hints of royal on the heel side of the shoe as well as on the toe box. We have a, a royal hints. And the leather quality on this shoe is really nice in my opinion. I don't think it's the worst leather I felt or the best, but it's just solid in my opinion compared to like other retros of the Jordan ones. On our uh, tongue, we have our again, we have our leather like tongue tag, and we have our white Nike Air that's print, uh, painted here. Uh, like usual for the past. 2020 retros of the Jordans, they have done the leather tongue tag. I do wish they still did the nylon one, but the theme for 2020 has been this type of tongue tag to use. Uh, the Wings logo here is painted white, which makes it pop more. I do kind of wish they made it royal, but I think this is not bad in my opinion because of it popping out a lot more. It does make the shoe, you know, stand out. Again, I put black laces on the shoe, and on the medial side as well, we have the same thing. We have black leather all throughout here, our little hints of royal on the back. And then we have a little white leather, black Nike swoosh. And then into the bottom of the sneaker, we have an all throughout royal colored uh, outsole to go with the shoes colorway. We have our Nike Air branding right there. And then getting to the insole of the sneaker or the inside, we have our black sock liner. And on the inside, if you guys can see, we have Nike Air branding again. The shoe did also come with a set of blue laces here. Uh, I did put the blue lace on the other sneaker and I kept the black lace on this one. In my opinion though, the blue lace are not a bad option whatsoever. I do think they look really nice on the sneaker right here. And it's just up to you if you want to rock with black lace or blue laces. Personally for me, I'll just stick with the black laces, but again, the blue lace are not a bad option. And since this is the Royal Toe Retro Ones, the shoe does get a lot of comparisons or will get a lot of comparisons with the Bread Toe Air Jordan Ones as well as the OG Royal Air Jordan Ones. Uh, the reason why I'll get compared to this shoe because we have the royal toes right here and you have the bread toes right here in my opinion though I, obviously this shoe in my opinion is a lot better just because of the color blocking and just the way it looks looks like a great og sneaker right here but this is not a bad option again i do wish where this shoe was red right here and black how they switched the royal color here and the black color over here but they kind of want to do that i guess because the shoe looked so too similar to the uh, fragment air jordan ones but i don't really think that's a deal breaker because the fragment still had a little logo branding on the side but whatever jb wants to do they want to do i guess but then again this is still nice i wish it was like the same color blocking as this bread toe and I expect like prices to go similar to the shoe as well. But and then this shoe also compared to the Royals because again they share the similar color scheme. You know, we have the OG Royals right here, and then we have the Royal Toes. And obviously this shoe right here is a classic, but this is just comparing it to this one because they have similar uh, color scheme to go along with them. But Again, that is basically my review on the Air Jordan Retro 1 Royal Toes. Uh, let me know if you guys did pick this shoe up last week. And let me know if you guys are going to keep them or are going to sell them. And please make sure to like this video as well as subscribe to my channel. Please make sure to hit the notification bell so you guys get updates when I do post more videos. Uh, also, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Haseeb underscore me on. The Instagram is on the bottom left corner of this video. And I appreciate you guys watching today's review. Peace.
Yeah.